rocks that are more calcium carbonate rich. Um, what are those bulbous things on there? Um, calcium carbonate can be dated with radiocarbon. So dependent on if the stalks at the base are the oldest portion of the coral is probably their meaning they're going after a target that could right. potentially be the oldest portion of the coral. I wonder if those like, yeah, I don't know what those bulbous things are. Are they egg sacs? Some of them look to have tentacles, like yeah. the one. Yeah. Oh, I wonder oh, if they're yeah. anemones facing like the other anemone. direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's I think what they must a, be. Yeah. Oh, Venus flytrap. Yeah, Venus. that's what they yeah, look that's like. That's what the huh? one at the top looks can like. Can you go wide? But the one kind of at the I'll left. I'll try and come around the other side, and maybe we can see the the front of the anemones. Why not? Yeah. Take a look. Somebody was talking about anemones that um, wrap um, around the stalk oh yeah yeah they're um it's not officially called a ring anemone but that's what we unofficially call it yep oh there's a black coral behind it okay yep. mm -hmm. oh that's lovely and a ridigorgia yeah, i think to the left oh yeah totally not, anemones. Not a can we get some lasers off shots of this boulder here <coughs> It's actually not going to be easy for me. Sorry. Uh, my The butt's uphill, and the current is coming from behind me. Oh, I think we got a good you, image um, before. If What's you that? give it full beans on the vert, so it'll set the front of the sub down. Okay, and you'll be able to I'll try that. Maybe. It's pretty close. It's just a little perched on a marble sort of effect. Okay, we might be able to get a quick zoom. Might be able to hold it steady. Yeah. Yeah, I think they all oh, closed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They saw us coming. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I'm not camera ready. What's interesting too is that they're matching in color, and color's not supposed to matter down here. Uh -huh. So is it they're matching in color because they're eating the coral? Or they're eating something else that's eating the coral. Okay, I'm. Oh, yeah, we can. As far as I know, we can stay here for another second. Yeah. So why would they match if color doesn't matter? Well, I think these anemones are they're filter feeders as well, so they wouldn't be eating it. We were looking at some similar stills from an earlier dive, and they do tend to prefer areas of bare stock where. You want me to? Uh, a predator has removed the polyps. Tilt around to get on that. Mm. Whatever they were looking at there. I think we're. Yeah, I think good. we're good. Yeah. Good? Um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna come nice. up. Full wide. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> you had some serious pitch going on there. I know. <laughs> Did you check the octans when I was doing that? Uh, that would have been fun, actually. Yeah. I should have done that. Well, it was. Close to level and we're okay. So keep your questions coming in at nautiluslive.org. No, short answer. Yeah, we should next time because I the thing changes pitch a ton when I land. Yeah. I think we're pitched. I think we should be. No, we should be, be pitched way down. Yeah. yeah. For video sampling, etc. Landing too. Land with the front, not the. Mm, okay. What's going on with the DSC there? It's not doing anything, just in blurry mode. Don't know. Blurry mode. It's Blur's day, after it is all. Blur's day. <laughs> <laughs> Every good. day is Blur's day. Good one, Gabby. Good one. Thanks. Hey, Nav. <laughs> <laughs> Can you zoom out, Nav, to see where we are on the track? Uh, you would like a zoom on out pack. on the high pack? Yep. Yeah, we can get that going. I think we're making pretty good progress up this ridge, right? Looks yeah. like. I don't think the uh, capture folder was set up. I don't see an 1891 there. No, it wasn't. I don't usually do that. Um, Oh, okay. Or start it, but um, I'll, I'm gonna poke. I'm gonna poke around in this. What's stock, the distance you know, to the I'll summit? Start it up. 
To the seamount. To the summit. To the summit. Uh, give me one second. It's a dated document, though, right? As far as the storage goes, is, if that's what you're looking for. Is that black thing? No, I'm just looking for oh, settings. A All right. 1.1. 1. 1. Yep. Okay. So have we done pretty well? Two kilometers. Yeah. You'll have to uh, change the storage folder, though, if you take a picture. I feel like maybe, um, well, it looks like as we get steep, I wonder if we get steeper, what, you know, if we're going to hit some sponges again. But it could be just again that the, it's the orientation of, of this ridge. This is also a much smaller seamount. So, mm -hmm. Sorry, Steve, that was right, 1891. Never mind. Our ridge is veering north, northwest, so I want to change our bearing to 335. That looks good. 335 it is. Copy. Oddly enough, I am already headed that direction. Convenient. I know, magic. Has that happened before? Yes, yes, every <laughs> single time. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> Not. Sorry. <laughs> Bridge, this is Nat. <laughs> I wonder where she got the idea. <laughs> Bridge, Nav. Can we please move five zero meters, bearing three three five? Thank you. <laughs> so, a viewer was uh, seeing the effects of the thruster wash on the coral that we sampled a bit ago, mm -hmm. and uh, wondering what do we notice about different organisms that give us ideas that they're reacting to the vehicle, either the lights, the thrusters. What evidence do we see that they're reacting to our presence. Well, the eels get really upset, like visibly upset. Yeah, they do not like They us. shake their heads, they open their jaws, uh, they get twitchy, they bump into things. Um, I've seen rays bump into things too. Um, something about like the way they navigate gets disrupted by all the light or all the noise or something. The polyps pull in and the corals. Those are the things I've seen. Oh, the shark tried to bite the football floats. I've seen a gulper eel turn into a balloon. <laughs> and then back yeah. into a gulper eel. <laughs> yeah, and then back into a gulper eel. Yeah. Does anyone know the interval of the DSC that it usually shoots at? What's that? Do you know the interval? How long? 30 seconds. There's something drifting there in Argus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little jelly. Sputnik. <laughs> There have been some studies in the past where they go lights out on Herc to check on things that might be fluorescing. Were mm -hmm. any of you on any expeditions where they did that kind of work? Yeah, we have the uh, the PAR sensor on the vehicle and we were doing uh, lights out for 10 minutes or so. What did you see? Anything good? I didn't see anything. <laughs> Dark. Yeah, no spectacular uh, LED shows. I think the uh, levels that they're looking for in the power sensor, we, we can't see them. The tinafores are can be pretty spectacular, but they're not bioluminescing. They're just uh, light reflecting off their 
I can't say the word. Starts with a F. There's that another six-legged nice sea star beat. there in the upper right. Oh, yeah. So if we're talking about the internal waves um, coming off the Hawaiian Ridge, this orientation is what in relation to the Hawaiian Ridge? So if this northwest, this north-south oriented ridge is what orientation at this point with the um, Hawaiian Ridge? Let's get a zoom. I wonder if that's a... a it's not a key. parallel, I don't think. It's not? No. Lost a couple legs in the... It's got a lot somewhere. of short legs. Like only two long ones. No, I think... Uh, I think Emil has a species ID pulled up uh, on the Okeanos guide for this one. Uh, Stenactus. And it is born this way, to quote Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the usual number of legs. Really? And, yeah, huh. Okay, marble's gone. Okay, onward. Hawaiian Ridge is here. Yeah, this oh, is swimming. Oh no, that's a brittle star falling down. Almost perpendicular. But he was swimming. Yeah. We're on the back end but side that, of that. Yeah. Hmm. So this is leading to some other questions in the chat about other imaging and other spectra other than visible light, like thermal imaging, UV. There's another black coral at the base of that. Chrysogorgia. I imagine they might use some thermal imaging for some of the black smoker or hotspot work. Yeah, probably. They definitely do a lot of uh, chemical tests of the water column. Yeah, we're pretty much perpendicular to the ridge. So that's interesting. It's going to bump your camera once. So internal wave energy yeah. coming from the ridge will be blocked by the north side of the seamount. Mm hmm few more corals picking up here. Negative on the thermal imaging that I've seen. We've always dreamed about it. Wouldn't that be cool? Instead of poking around with a <laughs> temperature probe, we could just take an image and get the, you know, like an infrared camera. That uh, doesn't work so good in water. No. It is quite cold at the depths where we are. You can see our current temperature as well as depth on our website, nautiluslive.org. We also keep dreaming about an infrared camera, but I don't think that might work too well either. Even above a hydrothermal vent, you know, a black smoker, there there's a faint temperature signal above it, but side to side it goes away pretty quickly. Yeah, playing around with the temp probes in there. Two millimeters can be the difference between ambient and 400 mm. feet. Wow. And then basically, the, for sure, six millimeters, like the width of the probe. So fiddly. Yeah. It's Militaris and a black coral. Oh, two species of black coral down there. Let's see. Okay, go for zoom. See, the one on the right definitely is. The one on the mm -hmm. left, not so sure. Just those two little ones right there. Hmm. Whoa, Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. We're so seasonal today. I know. Yeah. So seasonal. It's season's greetings. Okay. I'll skedaddle. I'm going to have to come up there. I'm getting bonked by a float. Okay. I'll stretch out a little. Yeah, 
Yeah, this heading has kept our tether aligned all night. Hasn't been blown off to the side like I it has in know. previous times. It's been a little frustrating. Bridge, Nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two three five? It's like no, no current. Yeah. Did you just say there was no current here? Well, I don't know about no current, but so in subsequent dives we've had enough current or the heading we're moving at or whatever has caused the tether to blow off. There's basically one side no or the current. Other. Between, right, so uh, Herc there's and Argus. no current here, and we are also seeing that we think the portion of the seamount might be blocking what we would expect to be the tidal uh, generated currents yeah, or internal waves off. from the um, Hawaiian Ridge. Yep. And I don't see any ripples either. <laughs> so interesting uh, joint observations. Yeah, definitely not as, like before, it was laying the tether way off to the side and I could sneak in there with Argus to get close on her. Tonight, every time I've tried it, we've been assaulted by the tether. <laughs> <laughs> Delta Dan strikes again. And slapped <laughs> around by the tether. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually have, we're tangled up there once. To that was, yeah, that was pretty exciting. It's a big no-no. Oh, a sponge, finally. Two. There's one. Oh, yeah, two. Oh, look one on each side of the screen. Yeah. They look identical. They're they twins. Do. Oh, They're yeah. twins. It's like two goalposts. Oh. Yeah. We won. We made it. Looks like there might be... Oh, that might be sediment. Looking in Argus view, trying to see off into the distance there. Mm -hmm. Shrimp. I mean, I think so far we've identified some interesting relationships with the currents. <coughs> kind of makes me want to see what the northern side of this seamount looks like. Yeah. Just going to do a quick strafe here, Gummy, if you're okay. all right. Sounds great. The rocks have reballasted us, so I'm just trying to get that back. Yeah, Go for zoom video. Tough call because the ridge doesn't look as pronounced on the north side. Oh, it isn't. Yeah, you're right. It's hard to see in this because yeah. we don't have all the data. It's too cute little. Oh, that's spot. just satellite. Yeah. Oh. But. Okay. Oh, that, doesn't, that doesn't show. Um, just wondering why you are moving bearing. Huh. <laughs> two two five rather than. Three, three, five. Hmm. Copy. There we go. That's <laughs> on me. Thank you. <laughs> Can you switch your move to three, three, five, please? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's all right. It's all good. You caught it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well done. I did not catch it. It just gets us more onto the ridge. Yeah. There we go. It was an yeah. opportunistic move. Mm -hmm. yeah. You saw a chance and you took it. I sure did. <laughs> you guys are not paying attention. There's another, uh, I think, some type of. Uh, we're starting sponge. to get some uh, animals up here. Yeah. yeah. Sponges or corals, probably corals. It was a good move. <laughs> <laughs> Hard just sediment. Maybe it's just sediment that we're seeing. Yeah. The last few dives have me so conditioned to expect forests upon forests yeah, of coral. Yeah. yeah. It's just the sediment in, in between the rocks. And uh, being three hours and 45 minutes into the world. <laughs> Barbie dragons. Another uh, sand river. 
Yep, another sand river. But notice no ripples. Well, maybe it'll be something interesting at the summit. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is interesting. It's it's telling us that right the the coral is less abundant, the sponges are less abundant, and the current is not as strong. And that might have a relationship to the geometry of the Hawaiian Ridge in relation to the seamount. Yep, and also maybe internal wave energy would be blocked by Don Quixote. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, probably the most, right? Depending on the angle it's coming. Yeah, it mm -hmm. might. Yeah. We're in the, a shadow. Yeah. I mean, and that might be the first order model to do. And the current's just higher up in the water column. and Could be. Well, it's somewhere not here. So over the next few minutes, you will hear the next shift come on, and we will be handing off to our colleagues. Thank you so much for exploring along with us on this watch. We do expect two more watches. In other words, eight hours of uh, exploration on this dive before it ends, or possibly more, depending on how the uh, progress is going. But More, hopefully. Don't, we don't want to promise you more than we uh, we are for sure. So two more watches should get us to the top or near the top of this feature. Which is an unnamed seamount southwest of Don Quixote Seamount and Papahanu Mokuakea Marine Monument west of Hawaii. That's where we have been for the past almost two weeks. We'll be here for another week diving and mapping. To your right there. It looks to me like the current, if it, when it exists, yes. comes from the north. Current. Or slightly east of north. Because it's deposited all this sand on the, probably on the lee side of the rocks, would be my guess. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, that too. Do you think it's the lee or the I don't know windward whatever? I think so, and based on what we're with Down they're hillside. hypothesizing in the back row as well. Kind of okay, makes sense. There's some interest in collecting um, some of these bathy pathies, black corals that we've been seeing. Okay, should is this a good place for that? Nope. We'll just keep an eye out. Nope. Okay. Is that the the yellow one? Or the other one? Uh, it's like the yellow or orange, brown, and okay. light pink, I think, or both. The feathery one? Yeah. 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 Argus dealt with that very gracefully. Yeah. That was a lot more straightforward than I Might thought it would be. the one down there on the left. The coral below us? Oh, I see. What about it? Sarah, uh, did you say you saw something? I thought we Yeah, passed, right passed there in the one. bottom of the center of the screen. That looks yeah. like it could be what, oh, we're, yeah. what yeah. we're looking for. Right, yep. Right I think there's another one on a big boulder at the top of the screen if this one doesn't work out. Yeah, if we could just yeah maybe back off and get a good look at this one right below us. I will be coming down, and it'll come right into the center of the frame. Beautiful. Almost optimistically like we planned speaking. planned it. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. Bridge now. Okay, let's get a zoom. Can we do an all stop, please?
Tilt it. Thank you. It's full zoom. Just getting some input from the shore. Yeah, I can get the pan though. What do they think? Uh, let's see here. Yep, um, let's collect it, the, the entire uh, colony. So you don't want to get it right above the base uh, where the base is attached. Roger. Okay, Dan, can you get me auto head? Let's see if auto I head. can, can send, settle out there. Uh, auto head yes, engaged. Yes, that's the one. Let me see if that settles out. Can we get lasers Zoom on in, for Steve? a scale? Lasers on? Roger. So as close to the bottom as you can get. Zoom right in. It doesn't look like it has a very big attachment, or is the attachment just covered over? Right. Great way to end a watch here with a very delicate sampling maneuver. Oh, come on. Can you scrape it off with the finger and then grab it? There we go. Yeah, it wasn't very close. Is that close enough? Let the flesh off the uh, close enough. Stop. Yeah, I think you got it. I think it came off and is below you. Which box will this go in, Sarah? Um, it can go in A, B, or C on starboard. Those two other small ones. Yeah, you got a good bit. Yeah, the yep. stock is okay. there. And the bed come off. Just the flesh, though. The, the skeleton came hmm. off on the rock. Interesting. Okay, I am going to kill the verts. Yes, please. That other sample was in, was in D, right? The f potentially floaty one? Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't see it to be floaty. I'm gonna do the. Oh, I got it. You ready for the whole thing? No, uh, not quite yet. Okay. Okay, sample tray coming out. Let them out. One more. No, that's it. That's what you get. Roger. See, there it goes. All right. Steve, if you come wide, I can look around for something for you to zoom on. 
Oh, I know. We can zoom on the uh, base of the skeleton there. Go for zoom. So that's Do the we black want to skeleton, try to collect right? that piece, that small piece? If, yeah, if we could. Yeah, there you go. Could we scrape it off with a slurp, maybe? I know you really want to slurp something. Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's give that a shot. This is also a great way to delay the shift change here while we uh, complete this sample collection. Some of our colleagues are swapping out. Gabby, you want to show us the uh, sample giant? So the tectonic turtles are here signing off. We're going to hand you over to the next watch. And uh, you'll probably have to uh, zoom out and show me the uh, slurp gun real quick. Video go wide. Dan, do you mind if I throw on the uh, starboard vert real quick? Yeah, oh, it should be good. I got some feedback saying the slurp is probably not going to work, Dan. What's that? Scientists ashore wanting this specimen thinks slurping is not going to work. Oh, yeah. I need to come up. He can come up. Can you zoom in, Steve? Um, why are they saying slurping is not going to work? I'm not sure. Uh, he's suggesting using the metal part of the slurp to scrape it off. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, we'll do the smear on that. Okay. Continue. Can you zoom in some more there, Steve? Thank you. Which slurp are we wanna... going into right now? Uh, we'll go to jar one. I've already done the flush, so. Okay, uh, I'm going to go, uh, what am I going to do here? 60, we'll try 60. Can you, uh, Go, uh, go 100 there, Gabby, on the suction, please. Yeah. Is that 100% there? I think we got it. Yeah. Is it in the jar? Waiting for it to get into the jar now. Uh, there it is. Oh, I see it. There it is. Okay, nice suction off well and done. back to flush. All right, I believe our work here is done. Video signing off. Roger, thanks.
Hello. How loud am I now? <laughs> You're normal loud. <laughs> It's not mine. I don't know where it's coming from. Hey, we're just waiting for Chris to join us here in the back row. Hello, Science Row. Hello. We are waiting for our fearless leader, uh -oh. Chris. He uh, he joined us and then he wandered off. So, See ya. Uh, <laughs> well, it, do you think he'd want us to like carry oh, there's on? there's a fish. Oh, there's a, Ooh, fish. There's a nice fish. fish. Let's look at the fish. Let's look at I like the that fish. idea. Yes. That's a fantastic idea. Aaron, you can zoom as you feel appropriate. Let's start with lasers. Paint them with some lasers. Neat. That is. That's how big. Antonella, can you secure the lasers, please? Yes. See, it's got a really large dorsal spine. I have uh, more zoom when you want it. it. Looks like a. You can go at your leisure. This is a rat tail, I think. The pilot. Identification. <laughs> I think it's a rat tail. It's got the spike on the back and it's got those little feely fins on the bottom. I don't know what they're called. Not legs, but. Got somewhere to be, though. Yeah, this is. Uh, okay. Looks back. like it's uh, Gadiform fishes. More a day. Might be this. Macrora day, actually. Hey, come back. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Macrora day genus, they have that large dorsal fin like he had. Which one are you looking at? Like Sorry, I'm one. a little bit late. Yeah, Corifanoides for sure. Yeah. I, I got just a normal look. Got it Sorry, right. I'm a little late getting to the show here. It's okay. We found ways to entertain ourselves. <laughs> yeah, well, I found a way to. <laughs> entertain you a little bit. I don't know how we're going to conduct a little discussion about the rest of this dive. That's why I'm late. We were outside talking about this. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Sounds serious. Does this mean blue water? What's that? 
What does this What does this mean? What this means is that um, there's a bit of a desire to get to the summit. The summit is 2.7 kilometers from our <gasps> start point. How far? Uh, from our here? end Our end point was set at 1.6, and I wasn't thinking we could make the summit. But after looking at this terrain, and also there's others that are interested in us getting to the summit we were discussing whether or not you could actually traverse this train not worrying about close-ups for a little while until you got below the summit where you know you'd make it at least by the 8 to 12 watch whoa can we zoom in that one too? Yeah, oh please let's look at this this is odd oh. Let's, oh, ha yeah. let's hang with this uh, we'll break let's watch the fish um summits nice. oh i think i know who you are this is unusual I'm pretty sure I know who he is, but you don't see these very often at all. I landed, so of course the video is not going to be smooth, but we'll do what we can. Uh, <laughs> that may be some of the best video of, of one of these species that we've ever got. Oh, it looks really cool. What an ugly mug he's got. I don't know, it's pretty cute. That's not an ugly mug. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> he's hiding a, behind me, only a under moment. the ROV now. Is he? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Come out to play. Oh, I've seen these before. Well, what was that? Give me a second. <laughs> I'm older now. <laughs> I need an answer. <laughs> there is. Uh, I know yeah. you're in the guide. I know you're in here. Yeah, somewhere. I've seen that one many times before. <sighs> in the guide. In the right, guide. You can the zoom at picture. your leisure. They have the large, the large heads, Very kind large. of a giveaway. Yeah. Absolutely. Very um, distinct. Do a quick laser paint, and then I'll turn them off. Right, I got some. Eh, there's just one. There's two. Oh, come out a little bit, please. Yep, coming out. Oh my gosh, these things are All so. Right. I think I got them. Is your laser? Okay. All right. Laser. This is a Canthonus okay, armatus. <laughs> Look at that. He head. is a uh, Cuskiel. That's a treat. We probably have only ever seen one or two of these ever. Wow. Slurp it up, Trevor. Slurp it up. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring our extra large slurp. He can tell us, yeah, there we go. That is, there is the picture in the guide yeah. is nowhere near as good as what we've got right here. So yeah, and try to get a good image in the side of him, maybe with the lasers. Well, actually, we've seen a couple of these. So we've seen them in the musician seamounts, one individual, and we see the, we've seen one in the Marianas, and that's it. Wow. Beautiful. This is a real, this is a good find. Look at those veins on the head. Huh? Yeah. Comment, uh, it's a cuskiel, but it's, it's a very smart, very unusual cuskiel. We went, we went on a birding trip one time and the guide was going, that's a good bird. So here I'm going to say, that's a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have good rocks and bad rocks, so yeah, you can have good, good fish and, and bad he meant, fish. He was talking about unusual birds uh -huh. when he said that, and I'm talking about a very unusual fish. Oh, okay. So, Do you want more imagery of him? No, I, I think you got him. Thank you. He'll right, spare nice. his eyes anymore. Light. Well, um, let's get set up for our opening, or so our uh, starting ceremony. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Jeez. I'm going to go land on this rock then. We can do a... Do a DVL reset after the after the ceremony too. Yep, sounds good. Come full wide, please, on Herxus. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, at this time, we will be going radio silent to conduct a private ceremonial protocol to acknowledge and honor the biocultural resources that are present and that we are interacting with and impacting. We will be back shortly on SPL.
Okay. So what we were trying to find out is whether we could just come up off the bottom a little bit and not worry about rocks or too much biology and close-ups until we get further up slope that we know we could actually reach the summit in the 8 to 12 shift somewhere in there. I mean, we can, sure. Yeah. We um, have the technology. Right, because we were talking about, you know, do you pull up and drag or could you actually just sort of run fast uphill? I mean, we can just go fast. So t it's about 2K, you're saying? So uh, uh, Could we look out on, uh, maybe, uh, Aaron, is it possible to measure how far we are to, say, the center of the summit? Or do I Even better, we have a target on the top of the summit, and it's uh, 2K, 1942 one, meters. Which is about a nautical mile, so if we move a half knot, then that means we can be at the surface, or at the summit, in two hours, plus a little bit of time for messing around, so we'll call it two and a half hours. How about that? Yeah, and maybe we could target somewhere just below the summit to drop down when we know for sure that we're going to have some time to spend there okay. and then uh, start looking at all the close-ups and get some more rocks and stuff Sounds like good. that. Sounds good. Yeah, oh. I'm totally fine to do that. Um, it looks like the terrain is not super dangerous, so assuming we can, we will not be stopping for samples or anything else, I think we can stay pretty close to the bottom. Um, maybe some snap zooms depending on how everything's laying out, but we don't need to be blue water is what I'm getting at. Okay, that's terrific. Yeah, if we can get imagery of the bottom, that would be terrific. Yep. All right. I'm ready for a reset. Do you want to do that before we start? Yeah, we can do that for sure. I'm out of autos, but I've been sitting still for a while. Getting back to that uh, Acanthoas armatus fish, Kenneth Sulak commented that has the largest otoliths, which are the little ear bones in these fish. Okay, ready for a ship move. All right, so we're going to uh, hustle at... Uh, half knot seems like a reasonable. That way we get some, some viewing, but we're still there in two and a half hours. That's terrific. Right. That'd be great. It's going to be 332. 332. You want it at a half knot. Yeah. And just big steps keep coming. Yeah, we could even track a line. They don't do that anymore, so I just give it... We could say 100, 100 meters, though. It's fine. Yep. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'll uh, come off bottom. 332. 332. Thank you. Bridge nav. Can we um, increase transfer, s transfer speed to 0 0.5 knots and track, well, do a 100 meter step at 332? Yep, you got it. Thank you. All right. So for this, can you please keep your heading at 332? And if I fall behind you, you let me leave frame. That way I can navigate by this view as well. Yep, I am, I'm at You're there. You're set there? Yep. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think we're set to do that. Cool. Do you want me to keep the camera fixed or? You can tilt up down, okay. but just don't, don't look left, right. Roger. Okay. It'll take a minute for it to start showing down here. So I'm just going to keep an eye on our distance and just keep laying in these moves. So it will be like next to impossible to stop to sample um, without backing up, just FYI. That being said, science, if you see something that's really sampleable, feel free to challenge me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I might just say no, and that's fine. But okay. All right, so getting back to that fish we're looking at. What's with the that red head. thing down there? Looks like a fish or a shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, it's a shrimp. <laughs> you can zoom yeah. on the shrimp. We got time. Okay. But I want to talk about the fish. The <laughs> shrimp is called <laughs> Acanthophyra. This is a really easy one to identify because it always, we call it sort of the drunken fish, shrimp. Oh, okay. If you look at the way it swims, down. it always sort of goes, and this isn't just the light, that's, that's what he does. Don't, so you see he's just spinning around like, <laughs> where's my <laughs> bottle? I cannot <laughs> keep him in frame. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really funny. Got places to be. <laughs> like our like our acrobatic snail the other day. Yeah. Oh, I want to see those That was again. very cool. Yeah. All right, How so far is that target from, uh, from the summit? Uh, stand by. Um, 530 meters. Okay, that would be good. We'll probably get there by end of dinner kind of thing. Sure. 
We're gonna hustle, eh? Oh, speed mode. So. Speed, speed ROV. There's work. another. Oh, it's a swimming it's cucumber, a right? Sea cucumber, yeah. Oh, I got it right. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we still got time to <laughs> look There's at the cool critters. Taunting us. Yeah, it of course. Cool. As soon as you oh, say we want to go. Oh, that's a beautiful wow. color. Oh, cool we need some shots of those for. Oh. Uh -huh. fast. That's this the is way Murphy. it is. This is Murphy's law. Totally. Oh. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful one. Deep purple. This the <laughs> all I can think of after you said that is smoke on the water. Uh huh. <laughs> no kidding. I love the name of this. If I'm right, is this the Psycho Psychoropa yep. Day? Uh, which one? Uh, nope. No, not that one. Steve oh, Reich, one Andy. It. Okay, I'll give you two more guesses. I wanted it. <laughs> You've got a wise guy in the control room. I'm afraid. Yo, you are in the wrong group. Uh oh. Yep. See us cucumber a day. Yeah, cucumber day. You got it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's a tiny fish. Tiny fish. Tiny fish. You can zoom in the tiny fish if okay. you can. Try Getting to get down Kumba. lower. I can tell you already. Oh. Tiny fish. Yep. It's Kumba. I what are you? See what Ken has <laughs> I to love say. when they freak out. No, okay, never mind. I might have to go for <laughs> this, for this one, the sin elect today. Um, yeah, so I'm leaning, I mean, we didn't, I'm leaning toward Hansenotheria is the... Hansenotheria. The, uh, There's a the starfish. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah, if we can all sorts of good stuff. Well, we could you bet we can zoom in the star. This is ridiculous. Whoa. <laughs> 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 this is We're still fair. moving, though. Don't worry. Yeah, go this oh. place. Let's go. Oh, oh this, this is, is a terror cool. asteroid. Um, just remember that one that was really humped over and feeding on something? Chris Ma confirmed that this is related to him. It's in that family terror right. asteroid. There we go. And Quick zoom. Terror asteroid, probably yeah. obesis. But I'll check that ID. Bridge nav, another one zero zero meter move, same bearing, zero point five knots. Maybe not obesis. <laughs> is it there? I'm gonna leave it as terrestrial species. Oh, you had it in. I C think it is other. if we're door south, but that gets split between the two directions. I think. Oh, I think that's what I was watching this before when we were headed directly south, like it was always pegged there. Okay. But otherwise I think it's splitting the, the force. But I sure, think sure. that's close, I think. Cool, I think. okay. <laughs> we should really read the DP manual someday. Huh. <laughs> Unless that's the jet pump versus the bow thruster? Maybe, Hard but that's say. like usually well, over that's over there, there. yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. There's no way to know. I wish I, mean, I could touch all those things. No. <laughs> but I can't. It's not for me. Sorry, we're trying to understand DP up here just by guessing <laughs> what we see on the screen. There's another fish. I don't see. It's in, right in the middle. Oh, uh, it's so tiny. Oh, that is so wee. Okay, if you want to zoom, <laughs> you can, but. So wee. How will I ever keep that in frame? It's just a speck of a fish. Uh, could we zoom this a little more by any chance? If we're, I mean, you don't need to go down, but. What are you? Well, it's an, it's an ophidiot, I think, but. Um. <laughs> Come back. I mean, oh. It could be a ju uh, juvenile, maybe. I think, I think, sure. I think we're done. <laughs> Goodbye, right, fish. fish. <laughs> uh, but Ken is watching, so. I keep wandering off, too. I should stop wandering off. Okay, Ooh. we got a cliff wall. That's fine. Yeah, nice wall. 
Love that. Come up on Delta, please. Sorry? Come up on Delta. There's another little fish. So what's the draw of the summit? What's the appeal of the summit versus here? Um, it's more moundy. <laughs> <laughs> Science terms are flying today. Yeah, I can hardly keep up. Um, you can keep this, this probably 10 to 15 for this, I this transit okay. would be good. Yeah, I think Roger. what it, what it is is that we, uh, well, for one thing, we you know, we had sort of a not really a request, but a comment why why we weren't trying to reach it, and then also, since it's a little dry down here, it looks like it's picking up a bit, but the way I figured it is, uh, we would try to go a little bit faster until we got into something a little richer in biology, and then right. maybe set down, and it. I actually originally had the summit as the end point, and then it looked a little far after I learned a little bit more about how fast we would be going. You see, it's looking dry down here? It's looking a little dry. Yeah. Hmm. Sparse. Yeah. Non mucousy. It's pretty wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the wettest places Barren. on the planet. <laughs> Is that me or? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna bite it. That's so close. Okay, is that is that better? Did you really want it closer to my mouth? I mean, think <laughs> about it. <laughs> um, Ken Sulak uh, gave some notes on that uh, that big um, rat tail before the acan acanthonus was a corifinoides. Um, he thought it was a bit unusual because of the tall dorsal fin and also the very long outer ray pelvic ray. Um, he's not sure of that's a known species in that genus, so it's a little bit of a mystery. Bridge nav, another 100 meter move, 332, 0 0.5 knots. And then the other one, he was thinking the rounded head was basocetus like. That was for that other ophidiod saw so thank you Ken appreciate it Chris what phyla do you most often find on these expeditions what 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 phyla what phyla uh-huh uh, at this depth sponges corals are generally the dominant animal groups here not so many fish, uh, but then there's al also a lot of squat lobsters and brittle stars that live on these animals. So if you want to talk about biomass, perhaps the corals and sponges, if you want to talk mm -hmm. about numerical abundance, maybe brittle stars, there's an awful lot of them. Mm -hmm. 